Max Sterling. Welcome to LARP Mix. The other day I was at the store shopping and I happened to notice there were some leftover Christmas items still on sale. Now at this point in time, the Christmas stuff is extremely cheap. So I found a bunch of these little cast iron skillets uh, that let you make cookies and brownies and stuff. And they're pretty much like a no-name product uh, that you find in big box stores. And this particular one because it has this little cast iron skillet with it, I thought, boy, that would be great for LARP. And cast iron, although a lot of people seem to think it's timeless, it's not really timeless. So if you wanted to use this, you'd have to determine whether it fits your time period for your LARP or not. But it's going to cover a lot of different games. It certainly fits post-apocalyptic, modern survival, and uh, probably any sort of fantasy game you may play. So if you play like Hobbits or something, they're always cooking. Or even if you just play somebody that does cook, I think cast iron would work fine for dwarf characters or any sort of medieval period fantasy type games. Now you'd have to determine whether or not this stuff you know, existed or not in the game that you play, if it's historically accurate. But I leave that up to you to decide. However, if we pop this open and take a look. And inside we have basically a nice little cast iron pan. Now this would be perfect for making like a single size uh, hamburger or maybe some small pieces of bacon, some potatoes or something. And if you get a couple of these, you can make a couple of different things at once. You know, basically just like a fairly nice little, you know, single serve skillet. And I mean, you could make an egg in there or something. But um, the point is I paid a dollar for this and it comes with some sort of you know, powder, uh, I don't know, like customs wouldn't let you through with this, but I guess it makes a cookie if you mix other chemicals with it. Now, the concern is because these are so cheap and it says they are, cast iron skillet is a product of China. So is this cast iron? What is this? Is this lead and arsenic? I mean, what is this made out of? Is it cast iron? I don't know. And that's a concern of mine. That's a concern of mine when I first make this little uh, sand bag of cookie mix. And it's also a concern if I decide to reuse this skillet later at LARP. And I bring this up because a lot of you have probably seen these. Some of you may own these, but I'm curious, is this safe to use repeatedly? So what I'm gonna do is a little lead test on it. We're gonna see what the results are. I also wrote to the company to see if they did any testing and I'll let you know if they got back to me or not and what they said. And once we determine if this is safe to use, then I'm gonna highly recommend going out and buying these after a holiday. I think they sell them Valentine's Day as well. And if you can pick these up for a dollar and get a bunch of little cast iron skillets, you could have some pretty serious cooking going on at your LARP. And like I said, these would be great really for most genres and most periods. But um, let's go ahead and take the test and see what we find out about these little cast iron skillets. So I went ahead and opened this thing up and I cooked the cookie mix that was in it. And basically you just add some butter and water uh, after you wash this off and put some oil on it. And I cooked the little cookie in it before I tested it. And I can tell you that uh, the cookie basically, it, it was trash. Like if I bought one of these in the future to, just to get this, I would throw the mix away. It was not good at all. So. What I did, of course, was, you know, went through the little seasoning process, put some oil on it and stuff. So now we got this little cast iron pan. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and use this instant lead test on it. And it's good for metal, painted wood, and a variety of other things. But I really wanna make sure that we're not just testing the seasoning or the outer layer or anything. So what we'll do is get some sandpaper and on the bottom of it, we're gonna sand it down so that we're really into the iron and we're gonna run this test swab on it and see what we got. So let's go ahead and sand this down and then we'll get one of these out and do our test and see if you know these cheap cast iron pans that you can get for a dollar after the holiday uh, have lead in or not. Now I went ahead and I sanded that down and you can see that we are you know, past any sort of coating or anything. So we're into it now. Let's go ahead and open up our lead test here. Okay, so now we just gotta activate this and we crush the front part and then the back part. 
and it says shake twice and then squeeze until yellow stuff comes to the top which there is now if it turns a pink or red then lead is present all right so I actually repeated the test and on both of these you can see there's some gray from the cast iron but there is no pink or red present on either of these at all I did the little test card and there was pink on there so the tests were done successfully and there's no lead detected so even though this is a cheap cast iron pan uh, that is made in China which you know whether it's true or not has a bad reputation for there being lead in things these uh, little cast iron pans look great and that means that they're fantastic for reenactment or LARP and that you can use them you know without a fear of there being lead in them now Obviously, I didn't test for anything else that may be in them, but I'm assuming that they are probably just iron, what they're supposed to be. But there definitely isn't any lead according to this instant test. And the company I emailed them, they did not get back to me, which is not really that surprising to me uh, to confirm anything. However, there are no warnings on the packaging or anything. So the way the directions read, it's basically after you use this, you can wipe it down, coat it with vegetable oil and use again. So it's not meant to be a one-time thing. So that means that we have some great cast iron pans that you can use for LARP. If you have a way to test these yourself, I'd love to hear your results and I'd love to see if maybe they could be tested for some more things. But if you do decide to test it the way I did, on your own, be sure to wear gloves because the little cards they give you and stuff, they have lead on them and there's you know, chemicals involved. So you wanna make sure you're not getting that stuff on your hands. And when I'm done, I'll wash this off real good and I'm gonna uh, re-season it on the bottom here. But these are good to go. And like I said, after the holiday, I picked this up for a dollar and they had a bunch of them. And normally if you buy them when they're not on sale, they're like five bucks. So if you wanna get a whole bunch of little cast iron pans that you can have some stuff going uh, on in at LARP, then that's a good place to get them. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to tell everyone that you know and everyone at your games and stuff that my channel exists and just get the word out there. If you're in a forum or somewhere and there's a video of mine that you know of, please put a link on there so people can check it out and see what's going on. Uh, I love new people coming to the channel and I hope that I'm giving you good entertainment and good information. And uh, of course, as always, adventure on. I can't believe this didn't have lead in it. I really thought we were gonna expose some industry stuff here today, but they're legit. Dollar cast iron skillet. Great, let's cook some stuff.